In this problem, we're going to try to figure out the volatile suspended solids loading to an anaerobic digester. So they've given us some information about the digester. They've given us the diameter and the liquid depth. And they've also given us some information about the feed. So I've got some feed rate coming in in gallons per minute with a feed concentration that is a certain percent volatile. Uh, so normally, the feed rate to a digester is going to be expressed as pounds of volatile suspended solids or volatile solids per thousand cubic feet of digester space or sometimes it's actually expressed just as cubic foot of digester space so um, we can do this either way so we need to find two things right we've got two pieces that we're looking for we need pounds of volatile solids coming into the digester and we need to know how many thousand cubic feet of digester we've got so those two pieces, that's our map, that's what we're looking for. I'm going to go ahead and find the volume of the digester first because that's the slightly simpler piece. Okay, so this is a pancake type digester and I know that because they told me it had a diameter. So I'm going to go and get the volume formula for the diameter of a digester and this is going to be 0.785 and you'll excuse my pen here, times the diameter squared times the height or the depth of the water. Okay, so we're going to plug in everything we know. So the volume ends up being uh, 0.785. I have to write very slowly here or my tablet does not want to cooperate all the time. The diameter is 50 feet, so we're going to put that in there. There's 50 feet and you see how I've got this, uh, let me just get the red pen, this little squared thing here. Okay, what that means is that I don't need 50 feet once, I actually need it twice. So we're going to put it into the formula twice. Okay, so there we've got that piece. And I need to know the height, or in this case the liquid depth, so that's going to be 21 feet of liquid depth. Okay, so my volume ends up being 0.785 times 50 times 50 again times 21 and I'm just going to do that twice because every once in a while I do get fat fingers so 0.785 times 50 times 50 times 21 okay, and I get the same number both times and it is 41,212 Point five, and then because I have feet times feet times feet, this is going to be in cubic feet, and depending on what they gave me my answers in, in an exam or what I was trying to compare it against, I might want per thousand cubic feet uh, instead of by cubic feet, in which case we would just uh, divide this by a thousand and I would end up with 41.5. 2125, and this is going to sound kind of silly, but we're going to do that times a thousand, and that's cubic feet. Okay, so I have the first piece of my puzzle there, so now we are going to figure out the second piece, which is how many pounds of volatiles do I have in there. Now the pounds formula, pounds per day, is equal to the milligrams per liter, coming in in the feed, times the flow rate in MGD, whoop, MGD, and that's times a conversion factor of 8.34. And what that actually gives me is the pounds of total solids going to the digester, but what I'm interested in is how many pounds of volatile solids are going to the digester. So we are going to multiply this by the percent volatile solids. Okay, and that's going to turn my total pounds of solids into pounds of volatile solids. Now you see here that I have a little bit of a problem because they did not give me the feed rate in milligrams per liter, they gave it to me in milligrams per liter. But I know that 1% solution uh, is equal to 10,000 milligrams per liter and that is going to be true as long as I'm below about 7% solids uh, or the specific gravity is approximately equal to 1. Okay, so when the solids concentration gets higher than about 7%, 
then we have to start taking the specific gravity into account. But they didn't give me a specific gravity, so we are good to make this assumption here that 1% is equal to 10,000 milligrams per liter. So I'm going to go ahead and do my little railroad track down here. 5.1%, okay, so I do my little railroad track. There it is. And I've got 1% on the bottom and 10,000 milligrams per liter on the top. Never do this in your head because you will lose a zero or add a zero every time. So it ends up being 5.1 times 10,000, which is 51,000 milligrams per liter. Okay, 51,000 milligrams per liter. So now I have, I have this piece. I have this piece because that's a constant and they gave me the percent volatiles. The only thing I need now is the MGD which I did not get. I got a feed rate in gallons per minute so we will also have to convert that. Okay, So this is a little bit more complicated so I'm going to start by drawing the backbone of my track. I've got uh, 28 gallons per minutes has to go underneath. Okay. Minutes is on the bottom, so minutes is going to go up here on the top, and there are 1,440 minutes in one day. Okay, because there's 60 minutes an hour, 24 hours in a day, which is how we come up with 1440. Uh, and then gallons is on top, and I need to turn that into million gallons. Uh, so there are, for every 1 million gallons, one, two, three, four, five, six zeros, eight million gallons. Okay, so that is going to tell me uh, how many million gallons I got going in here. So it's going to be 28 times 1440 divided by a million. And I messed something up on my calculator, so I'm going to try that again. 28 times 1440 divided by a million, and I get a, a flow rate going to the digester of 0 0.04. That's a 4. Fix that with my eraser. I love it when the pen auto-completes for me. We'll make that a 4. Very good. Okay, so it's 0 0.04032, and that is million gallons. Okay, so now I have all of the pieces of this formula and they're all in the right units. So we are going to start plugging them in. So pounds per day, okay, my milligrams per liter we found down here. So this is 51,000 milligrams per liter because we had to convert that percent over. MGD we found they gave us gallons per minute but we knew we needed MGD so we converted that so this is 0 0.04032 uh oh I'm gonna run out of room got 8.34 that's my conversion factor right pounds per gallon you should note that this is MGD and the percent volatile they just gave me this is a number that you would get back from the lab uh, and it's 70%, but it has to go in here as a decimal, so 70% is just like 70 cents, so that is going to become 0 0.70. So I've got pounds per day, and we're just going to multiply all of these things together. So 51,000 times my 0 0.04032 times 8.34 times 70 cents, 70% is 0.7. Uh, and I end up with 12,000 and I'm going to call it 12,005 and just round at this point So because those little partial pounds aren't going to make much of a difference. So 12,005 pounds. So I'm going to try this one more time, make sure I punch it in correctly. 51,000. Okay, that's good. 0 0.04032 times. 8.34 times, 0.7 times, okay, and I got the same number both times. So I got 12,005 pounds per day, and uh, I'm putting that into 41,212 cubic feet. So I've got both pieces now, pounds of volatiles and my digester space. We're just going to take those two numbers, and we are going to divide one by the other. So it's pounds of volatiles. So I have 1,200 
and 5 pounds of volatile solids divided by my digester space. I'm just going to go ahead and do this in cubic feet. Divided by 41, 212.5 cubic feet. So put that in the calculator, 41, 212.5, and those two are getting divided. And my answer here is 0 0.29 pounds of volatile suspended solids per cubic foot of digester. And uh, that's actually a pretty reasonable number. A typical range for an anaerobic digester is going to be somewhere in the range of 0.1 to about 0.35 pounds of volatile solids per cubic foot, so it's all good.